I'm gonna say something crazy. Japan does fried food unlike any other country. And as an American, I understand the gravity of my statement, but I still stand by it. Here's a Japanese food that isn't actually Japanese. The humble croquette. They're everywhere in Japan. Absolutely everywhere. To the point where if you never left the country, you'd assume that they're Japanese food. And they kind of are. Today I'm at Moria Shoten, which is my absolute favorite place to get my fried fix. The croquette was introduced to Japan in 1887 when Jacques Croquette came over on a boat and said, Hey, y'all should try these. The Japanese public fell in love and they immediately put Jacques to work at the local daie to make croquettes for the busy salarymen of the Meiji era. My French friends are going to have to help me out here, but apparently traditional croquettes are made with a bechamel sauce. But at the time, dairy processing wasn't that big in Japan, so they opted for a filling of potatoes, beef, and onions. And thus, the Japanese koroke was born. You'll have a hard time visiting Japan and not being drawn in by the enticing aroma of fried breading and hot oil. But you shouldn't fight your basic human instinct to want to take a bite. There's a billion types of croquettes, but I highly recommend the standard and the minchikatsu, which is basically just an elevated public school steak nugget, but 9 billion times better.